Hey there, Scorpios. And welcome back to another one. Yes, another one. Yeah. I'm talking about that love thing. It's a love thing. A love, love, love thing. Love thing. So tap in this love thing energy, Scorpios. The love coming from you, of course, because you are love. So. What is the general reading, the general energy for Scorpios on this soul journey? What is Scorpio's current love energy under this divine journey? It's all about the soul having this experience. So let's see. Y'all, it's so hot out there. It ain't funny. It ain't. <laughs> I saw this earlier, but I wasn't sure if this was spirit was telling you. But you got universe. The next card here is power and love. See, I've learned to respect the power of love. I've learned to respect the power of love. Power and love. Don't you know that love is powerful? That's what you got going on, Scorpio. So let's see. It is the weekend, Scorpios. Shout out to all of the loving, beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world that know that you got the universe in the palm of your hand. It says the universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Like, don't be self-sabotaging. Don't be thinking that you can't get it. Don't be thinking the worst. Just, you look, now I happen to know a, a couple of things about how Scorpios think. Just because you don't know every single thing, don't you dare choose to think negative when you can choose to think the positive. Now, I ain't saying be no fool. And maybe you feel like that's, that's too much to give to, to actually think of something actually turning out beautiful. But it takes the same energy to think of it as something beautiful than something not so beautiful. Y'all, don't come for my eyelashes, okay? All right, I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress. And like I said, I'm a Scorpio. I'm no quitter. So one day you may find them on. When you keep on looking, they're going to be on here like a professional, okay? <laughs> so shout out to the new uh, eyelash people, okay? So anyway, Scorpio, you have universe. The universe is guiding this special person to you. And then you have power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. See, the power of love is drawing you to that special person. And lo and behold, you have love. Love will conquer all. Yeah, yeah. See there, Scorpio, that's what you want. You got all this uh, powerful spiritual energy supporting you, supporting love. Love is coming to you. Love is trying to get your attention. Prepare for love, Scorpio. Spirit wants you to prepare for love. So let's see for Scorpios. I hope this video finds you guys doing absolutely amazing, Scorpios. Absolutely amazing. I stopped by come and go to give me something to drink because it was hot outside because I wanted to go look at some uh, clearance at uh, Marshall's and candles. I, I am a... Um, Scented candle freak, that has always been my thing. Scented candles, I'm working on that too. That's going to be the first thing that I'm going to probably start doing is candles because I love scented candles. But anyway, so I always stop by if I'm in the neighborhood. And so I stopped by, come and go to give me a drink. And I noticed that the cashier, the male cashier was taking too long ringing up that customer. And then it dawned on me, he's flirting. And I said, oh, okay, uh, I get it. Oh, okay, I get it. And he wasn't into me, didn't, you know, he wasn't into the, you know, you know, you know, and I ain't throwing no shade, so I already knew <laughs> I was going to be waiting there. And so I kind of took offense to it, but then I shouldn't have. And so the, the lady next to me, she, she and they, they really got done at the same time. And then he looked his energy at me to tell me to come on, but I turned my energy to her. <laughs> Don't come for me. And she says, she said, hello. And I said, hello. She said, how are you? I said, I'm amazing. How are you? She said, fine. She says, this all? I said, yes. Yeah. She said, go ahead. And I said, oh, thank you. And I plopped on out with my free drink. <laughs> so you see how when the door closes, another one opens here. Because that's disrespectful. But, but I can't say it's disrespectful. I said it's disrespectful as a customer service person. And he was talking back to him. So I wasn't mad they made a connection. But I wanted to pay my stuff and go. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but I guess it would have been, it would have been different for anybody else, but it's the customer service, but to see, you know, it was, it was so freaking obvious. <laughs> 
it was so obvious that they were flirting. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I guess I, guess I was hating because I ain't had nobody to flirt with, okay? <laughs> Needless to say, everybody is getting it in. Now, if you ain't got love, it's because you ain't doing something right. First, you have to be that love energy already in order to attract it because this is what it's saying here. Once again, it says, but which one is it? Power. You got to tap into your love power. It says the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. There is love energy within you and you are the attractor. So you got to be walking around here in the love energy. I'm telling you, you do. You do. You have to already be in the love energy, Scorpios, because guess what? That love energy brings power. It brings power of the... <laughs> yeah, it make you, it'll make you a magnet attractor. You'll be the one that's just la li la li la just woo hoo 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 And they be, they be doing double takes. You ever had them do double takes? I got out the, I got out the car <laughs> one day at the gas station. And the only reason why I rushed in there was because there wasn't no cars in there. And I was going to stop and pump me some gas because there wasn't no cars in there. Now, I'm not going to say I wasn't dressed appropriate, but I, <laughs> I probably had on some at-home lounging clothes. It's never going to be, you know, too provocative because I stay age appropriate. But I ain't afraid to show these legs, whatever they made up, people. And so <laughs> as soon as I pulled up, a car pulled up right next to me, and I could tell there was some guys in it. And I'm like, well, <laughs> so I do this. Well, you know, you got to get your ass out and go. So go on and go get it over with. So when I got out, by the time I went and did what I needed, I think I went in there and I bought a ticket. And then when I came back out, he was coming in. And he obvious, he said it so loud. He was like, ooh, you know how guys do. I think that's so tacky. You could tell a grown man and a boy because a grown man is going to uh, uh, appreciate your beauty, but they're not going to be like a... A, a wolf or, or, or a kid, a boy. Most of them ain't ready. And I'm saying, I ain't saying they can't pull nobody, but not a grown woman. So he began to do the man, the, huff, the, the, the whistling and the sucking his teeth and all of that and <laughs> all of that crap. And see, the thing about me, I never stop. I'm steady walking. You can say whatever, but I'm walking to my vehicle and I'm going to hit that lock and I'm pulling off. <laughs> And so, yeah, the other guy gets out and they're having a conversation about me. And I'm just like, hey, thank you. <laughs> That's what I said I did. So I said, ooh, thank you. I kind of did that. I did. I said, ooh, thanks. Thank you. And I heard him got in the car. I ain't make eye contact. I'm like, because I was looking in the ethers. I wasn't looking at them. I was looking at them. And there's a difference. I looked at them and I said, huh, thanks. And I got on in my little shit and I went on about my business. See, that's what happens when you got the power of love already in your soul. It don't mean that everything is perfect, but it means it can be as perfect as it can be in this experience. Because <laughs> remember, you can't take, only thing you can take is the spiritual aspect with you. Everything physical and carnal is not. Spirit, the universe is guiding you to that right person, and the universe is guiding that right person to you. Ooh, Scorpios. So let's see for Scorpios. Yeah, I'll be expecting somebody to look and say something. And then when I know I got their attention, don't come for me. I kind of throw that ass a little bit more. I sure do. <laughs> and I be hoping I don't trip because I get clumsy. I get nervous when I know you look. When I know it's an audience, I get nervous. <laughs> and I be tripping on my toes <laughs> and keep on going like I ain't did nothing. I do that. <laughs> If they go, if they go, <laughs> if they're going to honor me with a stare, then I might as well give them something to look for. I mean, after all, that's a Scorpio's way, isn't it? I'm going to pull a flirt at you one way or the other. I ain't going to take you home. I don't want to get to know you. But the way a man represents himself to you or a woman, the very first time you meet this person says a lot about that person. If, if, they, if they struck and they're lustful, oh, this, this ain't nobody you want to build nothing with because any big butt and a smile is going to always get this person's attention. You have to be able to deal with a person who is wise. They can see things because their wisdom is guiding them. Uh, like, what have I been watching? 
I've been watching how they're saying that it seems like the men is want the old natural gas. They don't care about a little saggage and a little floppy dent cheese and, and say you like now because they know it's real. <laughs> so it seems like the men are wanting the 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 the, uh, the mama the homey type of energy. They get, it, it's, it's like it's like the BBLs. Look, I ain't coming for nobody. The BBLs are going out of style because they they ran it out. You know, you know how it is when when, when the trend come, they milk it, they milk it, and they milk it dry. Then it loses its flavor. And then you see one, you see them all. <laughs> and especially when they ain't been getting them done right, they be like, oh no, next, next. They can tell who spent money and who couldn't wait to get it done. And this ain't no shade. You have every right to work on yourself as you choose. But sometimes it comes from not loving yourself. So I encourage you to get to know yourself first. Be pleasantly surprised at just how magnificent you are. So Scorpios, universe, power, and love. There the love is. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you got beautiful things coming your way because you're in a good position. Nine of Pentacles. The lovers, you got your choices, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah. The lovers, Gemini. Mm. Like I said, you could be attracting multiple people your way here, Scorpios. It's like they just, they just buzzing all around you. Like, now don't talk to him, talk to me type of stuff. You got air and earth. What's going on for Scorpios? The universe is guiding that special person to you, Scorpios. Scorpios, the universe is guiding that special... You know what, Scorpio? The universe is guiding you and that special person together, honey. Because you are attracting it, so the universe is pushing it to you. See, you have to already decide what goes and what stays. And by you having this very high power of love, love... It's like I went to the store too, and then uh, like like they're used to me coming in here, and it seemed like it's more younger and younger guys up there. And it's just like, man, man, ooh, Scorpio, man. Mm. And I be trying not to flirt, but I end up flirting anyway. But I be looking at them little young boys, and it's a couple of them that's kind of buffed out too. And like when they spot me, they just stop. <laughs> They just stop and they get the whispering. And I ran into something. <laughs> I got nervous. They had a whole line of just sitting there looking. <laughs> I got nervous and banged into something and he started laughing. I said, You saw me coming, get out the way then. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Hey, 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 ma'am. I said, Hey, how you doing today? <laughs> I say, you working hard or hardly working? <laughs> That's what I be saying. <laughs> I say, ooh, I wonder what I'm going to cook today. Mm. <laughs> I say stuff like that. I say, ooh, you look like you eating good. Because <laughs> it's a thick one up there, kind of muscular. And I be picking, I say, ooh, you look like you eating good. You know, you, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, look like you, you know, look like you well taken care of and you can well take care of something, little, little shawty. <laughs> That's that power of love. For some of you guys, y'all cougars out here. <laughs> Woo. Knight of Wands. Now, you could be attracting this energy to you. You make them come, they all over themselves. I'm telling you. If you want to have some fun. <laughs> Look how that Knight of Wands came out, Scorpios. <laughs> They be following me. I'm telling you, they'll follow me through that store. But I come in there and I give them a little show. I be flirting. <laughs> Respectfully, of course. And they be wrapped around my finger, too. And they be like, I'm like, oh, I was looking for something a little bit cheaper. So you know what? I can break this down for you. I be like, really? <laughs> you do that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I be doing it, baby. And it be working. <laughs> Make sure you're smelling good so, so, your, so your energy, your effervescence, your power of your love lingers. I'm talking about it's all deep down in their soul by the time I leave because I zigzag all through there. I get real close past by, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby, I didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, shit, and 
they be looking, they be like, they be like, oh. <laughs> hey, you got to get it how you live it, god dang it. <laughs> if I'm going to the store, I might as well get everything out of this store that I can. If they want to flirt, I'm going to flirt with them. Look at that. They go to Star Car, see? And they go to Cherry. You always have the Cherry. Ooh, my Salima. They go to Two of Cups. King of Wands. Somebody say, you know what you show is purity. You sure is sexy. You got Aquarius. You got Cancer. You have Gemini. You have what? You look. You have Earth. I feel like you have your choice for some of you guys. You may have a younger fire sign. You may have an older fire sign. Or you make this person feel like a kid. <laughs> oh, you make somebody feel like a kid, Scorpio. Or feel young again. Because you know if you deal with a younger person, they're going to feel like they have something to prove. They may not be all their way mature either, though. Six of coins. And there go the magician, I told you. There go that power. It look like ludicrous. See that, Scorpios? You got power, boo. I said they checking for you, Scorpios. If, if you are in that energy already of love, honey, shoot. I'm talking about I don't care how I feel. I'm going to walk and strut my stuff. And I'm going to make it. I'm gonna, Look, I look. <laughs> Because in my Scorpio mind, I feel like it's always somebody looking. And you know it is. If you see somebody walk by, you're going to look at them. I'm really shy. So to act like I'm not, I just like, if I got to go in the store, I got to do this, I got to do it. Might as well have fun. <laughs> Rocking chair where? <laughs> oh, we can rock some things, god dang it. So let's see. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You have the Lovers, Gemini, the Star, Aquarius. You have the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You have the Chariots and the Two of Cups and even that Magician, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. They go to World, could be dealing with a fixed sign. They go to Five of Cups. Somebody may get their feelings hurt here. So you got a Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Now I feel like there is a lot of chemistry here. <sighs> you may be dealing with people who feel like they got something to prove to you. Somebody would love to be with you on every level. Somebody here, you could meet somebody in passing. You could meet somebody in, on, in traffic. <laughs> back in the day, we used to do that. We used to pull up, pull up, pull over, pull up. We used to do that back in the day, and we'd exchange, we used to exchange pager numbers. Everybody had a pager. <laughs> but now, uh-uh, no. But you may very well meet someone in passing. You could be in a, in a place of business, and you pass by this person, and both of y'all looking back at each other, and you like, he was like, well, hello, and you're like, hey. <laughs> you may be about to experience or run into this connection, but you remember the universe is guiding you two in a, the universe is guiding two special people together to create a beautiful magic uh, opportunity, because you got it here. So let's see, for Scorpios. Universe, the universe is guiding that special person to you, Scorpios. Scorpio, the universe is guiding the special person. You're going to be someone special person with this two of cups. You guys are going to you're gonna be like peanut butter to jelly, like sugar to Kool-Aid, like doctor to pepper, <laughs> like Scorpio and jealous lover. <laughs> like Scorpio and they don't like to share, okay? <laughs> what, what, wait. Like uh, Ebony and Ivory. Like up and down. <laughs> like yin to the yang. Like the tick to the tock. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. I actually feel like this is the energy surrounding you. 
this could be something taking place because you are in the power of love. You're in your energy and it's magical. You got folks taking double takes. It's your aura. It's your energy. If not, this is what you need to do. Don't forget why you came here. Don't forget that even if you're in love with somebody, even if you want somebody's attention, all you have to do is tap into your power. And only thing your power is, is building, building, strengthening your love. Strengthening your love with the power that the love brings because your love is powerful, Scorpio. So let's see. All right, Knight of Wands. What's up with this Knight of Wands from a Scorpios? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This is somebody here may got a motorcycle, somebody here who's, who's a hot boy. <sighs> Look at that. And I see there. Hot boy. Somebody got somebody coming in. Somebody could be a little bit younger than you or somebody here who's just a lot of fun. Very, very attractive. Very, very confident. That's what's going to get your attention, see? <laughs> See, y'all ready for some spicy, huh? Underlay, underlay, e i e i. <laughs> Ooh, they gonna put some on your mind, or are you gonna put something on theirs? I feel like somebody say, I "Ain't too young, I ain't too young." No, no, you, I don't look at you like my auntie though. Yeah, but I ain't. But yeah, you like, honey, I'm older to be your auntie or my mama. Yeah, but you ain't. You ain't my mama. You ain't my auntie. They said, "Give me a chance." You, you ain't even heard me play. <laughs> You ain't even know you don't even know what I got. See, I guarantee you, if you hear me play, you ain't gonna never want to not hear me play again. Ooh, they said they said, look at the mama. Let let me show you something. Some of y'all may go for it. Look at you, look at you, old Scorpios. Y'all could be dealing with the fire sign that's gonna come in here and put some on your li on your life, especially if you in this Queen of Wands energy. What, what, you, I mean, what can they do against this 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 magic? I mean, what can they do? <laughs> I just, ooh, see there, see there. Spirit telling some of y'all, you might as well get out your comfort zone, stop playing it safe, and go for it. Look, see? See? <laughs> you're like, boy, you're too young. Boy, move, move. But they said it coming with it, and you just giggling, see? That's what you're going to do, see? <laughs> Why? Because you're attracting them. See? That's what you're doing. For some of you guys, you online looking good, posting pictures of your, your femininity. Your femininity got them hooked. Spirit said you need to tap into your power, boo-boo. Whether you male or female, you know how to tap into that energy. Ooh. Could be a Libra. Could be an Aries. Why is the uh, star here? Could be Aquarius. Clarify the star. I just heard that song. <laughs> The star, the star, you remember that song? I just heard it again. Don't fail me now. I got to turn this brother out so he don't want nobody else but me and only me. I just heard that. <laughs> That's what they probably saying about you. They going to put something on your mind. Somebody going to make a boy a man, god dang. You going to go from the knight of wands to the king of wands. <laughs> Oh, look, you got me snarkling, see? Somebody going to make somebody grow up real quick. <laughs> you like, they were like, well, they may not know everything, but you got to learn. <laughs> How you going to learn? Uh, Scorpio believe on hands-on learning. What's up with the star card? Somebody going to teach somebody. I just heard uh, soul child. Teach, somebody going to teach somebody. <laughs> It's almost like you're saying, all right, now. You, uh, you, you, <laughs> you may be saying, you know what? You so sweet, you so cute, you so adorable. I had so much fun with you. I'm going to teach you, though. There's some things I don't like about you, but God dang it, if I teach you, though. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, like I said, you're going to be a lot of people's wish fulfilled, but I feel like some of y'all are going to make it hard to get, and that's going to make these little boys chase after you or these little girls, especially if you really into your power for love energy. It's going to make them come. See, so be careful now, because some of y'all, you may be p messing with a younger person here, and like I say, you got their nose all wide open. They're going to try to run away everybody else. <laughs> you be like, hold on, we're just friends. They're like, no, nah, uh, be careful. <laughs> everybody can't handle that Scorpio effervescence and things. I'm just saying. You showing up at the Empress 2 style. They're going to be trying to run off everybody, especially if you don't give them the attention that they want. Be careful because you're very, very powerful now. 
you mess it around a little young boy, you see the empress. Somebody may be dealing with you and they're gonna really be trying to prove, it's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like somebody asking, you know, well, what are you like in your person? What are you looking for? What are you attracted to? And you be like, well, I, I like a guy with muscles and they be doing stuff like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh really, why they trying to flex, you know what I'm saying? Oh really, is that what you like? You know why they doing that? <laughs> You talking about like that? <laughs> Ooh, you got them out there really flexing. I'm telling you, you, you got that power. You can have them out there doing that. <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, I'm just saying now they're going to be in their feelings over you. Be mindful now. <laughs> you, you done matured somebody, okay? Why is the lovers here? Could be a Gemini. <laughs> Clarify the lovers for Scorpio. <laughs> you know how men get to doing just like women. We get to sashaying and sashaying. What a man going to do? He going to flex. See, I tell you, they coming. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? They go that night of wands again. Lovers, I tell you. That's all you got to do is flirt a little bit. That's all you got to do. You got some, you going to have somebody got some younger guys coming after you that's trying to settle down with you. <laughs> Oh, uh, somebody want to prove to you that age ain't nothing but a number. Look at that, the magician card, see? Somebody say that you are alluring. Your love and your love magic, somebody say your love magic got them hooks. Come on, let me show you who, cause there are no words that can express. The way I feel now, and I want you to know I need you in my life. I need you, Scorpio, I really do. Your love is true. I need you in my life. In my life. Look, don't come for me. Look at that five of pentacles. Everybody ain't going to make the cut, though. <clears throat> For some of you guys, you're going to have so many people. If you dare to tap into your soul purpose, powerful energy, which is the power of love, your energy, which is the power of love, Scorpio, right now is magical. It is. It's going to have supernatural spiritual effects on anybody that comes within the perimeter of a Scorpio. But you got to be tapped in, see? Your love right now is very, very magical. So Spirit say you better use it. Now the universe is guiding that special connection your way. Now look at somebody here, because you're tapped into your energy, it's going to have folks want to come back though, look. See how that magic got them? <laughs> the lovers. And when I say magic, it all comes from your love. Love is magical, honey. Spirit is telling you to see, you got them side by side. This is how powerful uh, love is. The Spirit is telling you that love is power. That's what Spirit is telling you. <clears throat> the lovers, the knight of wands, that they, they, it's either, I feel like it's another one. <laughs> Here they come. They say, I heard the bell ring. Did I hear the Scorpio bell ring? This is in their head, baby. See? Judgment and the King of Swords. See? See, you, you're going to start a trap because all of a sudden, they're going to start feeling the Scorpio's effects. See? Somebody, I said everybody is under the Scorpio effects. So what's up with the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios? Ooh, some of y'all single, y'all out here living y'all life, you're looking good, and you done tapped into your inner power, which is love. And it's showing Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios. Opportunities, new opportunities of something successful, abundant, starting, there it is again, they go to Star Card, see? Ah, you are a lot of people's wish fulfilled. See, Scorpio, you got a lot of opportunities and a lot of offers coming your way. But that's only going to be to the Scorpios who are tapped into their power. Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be a whole lot of folks wish fulfilled. It's almost like you're dressing yourself spiritually. You are. And the only thing you are being is the manifester here, the attractor. You're going to have younger guys hollering at you too. 
Hey, Miss Scorpio Parker. <laughs> you need your yard cut. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ace of Pentacles. But you're gonna be playing hard to get though. Everybody ain't gonna be everybody ain't gonna make the cut, god dang it. Everybody ain't gonna make it. But somebody is, see? Four of Wands, see? Nine of Pentacles. You are coming off as somebody here who is who is beautiful, who is radiant, who is sexy, sexy, who got it going on. See, there it is. Nine of Pentacles. You are the attractor. Wait a minute, that ain't the card that came out. This is the card that came out. There it is, the Ace of Wands, see? But I see that came out too. There go justice, see? See, Spirit is saying that things are going to be balanced in your life and you are attracting exactly what you want and what the seeds that you have planted. It's almost like Spirit is saying it's reaping season for you, Scorpio. You're going to get it. If things have been imbalanced, if you guys have tapped into your inner strength and your inner power, you're going you're gonna to make everything whole again. See, they go to high priest to see. I feel like you guys are attracting this, but you got to tap into your inner power, which is this. See, <clears throat> you're going to make them respect your power, Scorpio. See, how can you go, go wrong with this? This is why you're here. Some of you guys got a Libra, a Pisces, six of, nine of Pentacles for Scorpios. You got new opportunities coming. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, got the nine of Pentacles. Like I say, you're, you're a catch. See, look at here. See, you attracting somebody here that wants that love. See, you got a King of Cups. <clears throat> Some of y'all got a water sign. Some of y'all got a Pisces or somebody is in love. Or somebody wants to come make things right before it's too late. And I ain't got the cherry. It could be a cancer for some of y'all. Happy birthday, cancer. Check out my other channel to see your reading with Scorpios. Don't forget to thumbs up that video, too. The cherry at the six of one. Somebody say, I'm going to get your attention here. See? I feel like you are popping next. You probably, what they say, you hitting corners. You, some of y'all may be driving a nice vehicle. Some of y'all may just have it going on, Scorpio, as a single person here. And you are mesmerizing. You so almost like you are <clears throat> you are a goddess. I'm, I'm hearing goddess energy. Goddess of love is what I'm hearing. Goddess of love, god dang it. See, everybody ain't gonna make the cut though, because some people ain't gonna be a little too immature. And they're not gonna be on your level. And they're going to get their feelings turned down. I mean, they're going to get their feelings hurt. Some people are because the, the energy that you're in, you can have whatever you want. I feel like y'all need somebody grown and a little bit more mature than that. See? See there, Scorpios? The Wheel of Fortune. Why? Ooh, look here. The King of Pentacles. Ooh. Somebody's finna, somebody finna, what, what do they call, what, what is that word they be saying? Somebody finna dip back around, is that what they say? You could have had somebody here who may want to break, somebody may come to you. This could be something, the chariot, once again, you may meet someone in passing or somebody has been watching you for a while. This could be somebody who is a truck driver. They may own their own trucking business. Person could own their own properties or a boss. I feel like this person, this could be somebody here who may start off with just something like taking you out to dinner. But I feel like, this, I feel like you're going to end up falling in love with a boss for some of y'all. Somebody may know how to get your attention, but you got a King of Cups here too. For some of y'all, you will have multiple people coming because you got the Seven of Cups, but you're not going to get the same out of every relationship. I see the Four of Wands here. I feel like you're going to end up falling in love with somebody here, Scorpio, because remember, you also had a Two of Cups. What's up with the Two of Cups? Remember, you got the King of Wands too, see? I bet that, look, you got the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. You got the Queen of Wands. And they go to King of Wands. See, and this could be uh, your, your divine map. Look, they go to Emperor in the reverse. Mm. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpios? Mm. You could make this person feel small. 
<laughs> two, ooh, look at that two of cups. I feel like you got multiple soulmates here. Look. Remember, the universe is guiding that special person to you. You got multiple options here, honey. And they're going to be deep because you are attracting them to you. Two of Cups, Two of Cups, Scorpios. Knight of Pentacles, here they come. But you got a choice to make. Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I feel like, I feel like the people who are gonna, who are gonna be coming after you is gonna be spoiling you and doing things for you. That's the only way it's gonna be hard. And it, it don't matter what age they are. They, ooh, well look at here. Mm. Somebody finna run off everybody else. Or maybe this is the same person saying, I can love you. I can love you better than they can. I can love you. I can love you. Somebody said that they finna show you something. Somebody feel like they got something to prove to you, Scorpios. What's up with this King of Wands, see? Because you already the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Somebody probably wanna, wanna get you back into them or somebody may want to control things or get their power back. See, the king of wands, king of wands, knight of cups. See, somebody's one finna come finesse you. <laughs> Somebody wants to prove to you that they can be the man that you want, Scorpio. They say, you don't need nobody else. I'm going to show you, little mama. Give me a chance. See, you ain't even gave me no chance. But look at them. The hangman, see? Ah, what's up with this king of wands? I feel like somebody here, <clears throat> I feel like you intimidate this person. I feel like you're going to come off as very intimidating because maybe you're at this point where you know what you want. You know what I'm saying? You're not insecure. You're, you're, you're beautiful. You're alluring and you're going to make people want you all the more. See? Ace of Cups and the Devil card. See? That's that person here who can't get you off of their mind. But once again, I feel like they're about to break free and they finna man up with that emperor. <laughs> Somebody, somebody has something to prove to you, Scorpios. What's up with the Six of Pentacles? Somebody finna show you a whole different side of them because you got that Wheel of Fortune and that King of Pentacles. Ooh. But in the meantime, you also have other people that's gonna be trying to hit on you. They go to Eight of Wands, fast forward movement, communication. You could be having communication. You could be texting somebody online. You could be just flirting with this one and then you post some pretty pictures and here you can get somebody else saying, ooh, you beautiful, what's up? I feel like that's what's gonna happen. That's what's happening. And it's making this person want you even more because this person's keeping tabs on you too. Everybody is, see, there they go. I told you, the king of wands, see? All you making them do is want you even more. All you're making them do is you making this person feel like they gotta prove something to you. <laughs> They got to prove something to you. Ooh, this person said that they can be what you want them to be. They said they, ooh, they said they trying to prove something to you. See, somebody does see something. Somebody is planning. Somebody does see a future with you too. And somebody wants to prove to you that, that you guys can have it all. See? That it could be a Virgo. I feel like somebody's been soul searching trying to prove this point to you because I feel like this is somebody here who is in love. They're in love, but they don't know how to get you. But spirit is going to help this person, Scorpio. They go to Sun card and they go to Lover, see? Could be a Gemini, see? And they go to Ten of Cups. <laughs> and you know why? Because the universe is sending that special person to you. That's why. <laughs> Oh, the universe is pulling y'all together here, Scorpio. This is undeniable. That's why. That's how come y'all line up together, the king and the queen and everything, Scorpio, see? But for some of y'all, y'all too busy feeling y'all self. Y'all done tapped into y'all inner power, y'all inner strength, y'all inner magic, and you are the magnetic, magnetic attractor now. They're attracted to you. They're drawn to your love. And now you can have whatever you want. Because somebody's coming in to prove something to you, Scorpios. Please like, share, and subscribe, Scorpios.